All right, hey guys, this is a little test or update video, not test. Uh, just taking apart the board that this came with, and I noticed a burn mark on here. That's a uh, over here. That's a um voltage regulator. Because when I saw I I originally was looking at this, I'm like, whoa, what happened here? And I saw that. So. Yeah, um, this is the act, this is actually the, that board is the one that came off of the normal IFP 1000, or 2000. So, yeah, this, this can do voice evac, like I said, but, like, a long time ago. But, the panel doesn't lock for some reason, I don't, I don't know why, but I'll try and figure that out later. Anyway, now for the part you've all been waiting for. An actual overview of this so not a lot of you guys have actually seen videos on this type of panel before or this panel in general but uh here we are um so as you know this is the IFP 2000 ECS as the IFP 2000 main board the CPU everything on there all one board this is the Silent Night ECS VCM, and that stands for Emergency Control System, I, uh, not Control, Emergency Communication System, and then the VCM is Voice Control Module. So this does work, I, I was just playing around with it late, or a few seconds ago before the video started. Um, I don't have any the amplifier hooked up yet, I'll probably do that in a later test update. I never actually pushed this to see what would happen yet. Oh yeah. Cool. See, then I when I do that, I could actually page like specific circuits. Like the way this is set up was well, this is actually default now, but made a lot of floors as you can see. Um now, I do not think that these messages are actually saved to the panel, so um, I'm going to actually try and get this programmed by the same person that I got that specific IFP2000 from. But yeah, let's, let's get to the part you've all been waiting for. You're not going to hear anything yet, because obviously I don't have any speakers hooked up, but let's just mess around with this. So... I'm still pretty new to this, so I'm, I'm still trying to figure things out. But, um, in order to actually play a message from here, the first thing you have to do is hold down this ECS control button. Then it beeps. Then, on here, it tells you to select one of these messages. So, choose message. And activate output areas. Let's say... I want to out. I want that one to go. Or no, actually, it told me I have to pick a message first. So let's do an all clear message. That puts the panel into a voice alarm. Or, to me, I think it's a supervisory. And then I do this. I don't think I can do that actually. I'll just suck this out. This panel is huge, so sorry if my hands are shaky. I'm putting my hands all the way out, but that's what that says. Um, what does that say? I'm using my phone to see what it says. Engage microphone for microphone mode. Well, let's do that. Hello. Hello. Well, obviously that would actually do something if the amplifier would be hooked up. Speaker to that. But, uh... I can't, like, turn this message off. I have to do that. It stays on. So what I gotta do is press reset. Wait, what did that say? Oh. Reset. Then press 2 for emergency communication system reset. Then that just goes back to normal. Not normal, because I don't have batteries or something. But that turns off. Like I said, this is just a cover plate. Um, 
I haven't done a non-active call. I'm not sure what that does. Uh, it doesn't do anything, actually. Wait. No, it doesn't do anything. Um, all call. That. Activate ECS message first. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do shelter in place. Okay. Then I want to do these ones to go off. Silence that. Uh. I don't know how this works. I'll, I'll figure it out though. Then I could do switches to that. All right, let me reset that. Reset that. Okay. Um, I guess I'll end the video off here because it's uh kind of taking a lot of time actually, and I gotta clean my room. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Look out for a video like extremely soon on this. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, because I sure did. Uh, see ya.